Hi everybody, I'm Susan Mulvihill. Welcome back to our garden. We live in Spokane, Washington, where the hardiness zone ranges from 5B to 6A. I've got a rather unusual video topic for you this week. You know, we gardeners love to be out in our gardens. We've got our projects to do, plants to get in, and we've got our tools. But there's one more thing that is so important to think about before we head outdoors, and that is sun protection. So let me explain why this is so important and why it is foremost on my mind this year. I grew up in Southern California, and every summer my mom and I loved to get a tan. So we would slather ourselves with baby oil, and you could probably hear us sizzling under the sun, but we just thought we looked so healthy. <laughs> So in my early 20s, you can imagine how surprised I was to be diagnosed with skin cancer. I had this spot near my mouth that just didn't want to go away. It was actually misdiagnosed initially. And I had some pretty involved surgery to have it removed. I had quite a lot of stitches, but it's not really very noticeable anymore. Over the years, I've been pretty good about using sunscreen and wearing a hat, but not as careful as I should be. So last spring, we had a big family get together down in California, and we were all just having such a great time visiting with each other out in the sun. And I got a horrible sunburn, especially on my face and upper body, eek. So I recovered from that just fine. And then last December, I went to my dermatologist for a routine check, and he found a spot right over here. And I thought, what spot? I didn't even know there was anything there because it's sort of hidden by my hair, right in my hairline. Well, as you might guess, he did a biopsy. It came back positive for basal cell carcinoma. Thank goodness it wasn't melanoma, but that was a huge wake up call for me. So you probably remember seeing me in some of my January and February photos all bandaged up here and it was painful, I had a lot of stitches and I'm doing really well now and it's pretty hard to see because of its location. Well, all of that has made me think, first of all, I need to be much more sensible about what I wear out in the sun because I love gardening just as much as you do. The other thing I wonder is was it that nasty sunburn I got last year that caused this? So I have a whole game plan for this year and I wanted to share them with you because I hope that you will also take sun protection as seriously as I am. And I'm going to try to be so good. I want to be a good example for you guys. First and foremost, sun hats are really important and with a nice wide brim. So this is probably my go-to hat, but I have a couple that, you know, look a little more stylish. And I have to tell you, while I was doing an online search on different kinds of sun hats, I always had to laugh and maybe groan a little bit because you would see these gals wearing their great sun hat while wearing a tank top. And you know, it's not just our faces that we need to protect. Ugh. Sunscreen is also so important to protect exposed skin. The American Academy of Dermatology recommends that everyone wear sunscreen that has an SPF of 30 or higher. I don't like the really greasy ones, so I usually buy either Neutrogena or Aveeno sunscreens, and Costco usually sells them for a pretty reasonable price. You'll also notice on those two white containers that the SPF levels are 60 and 70. I need to use a higher level sunscreen to be safe, and you should do that too. Long sleeve shirts are also a good idea. I got this from the Orvis website. You know, they deal with people who are out in the sun all day, like river guides and fishermen and so on. This is very breathable fabric and it has an SPF of 40. Also, I got a screaming deal on it because they discontinued this color. So I got it for $35 
instead of 98. Such a deal. If you'd rather wear t-shirts, I have an option for you. Consider getting yourself some garden sleeves. These ones are made by Farmer's Defense. They come in all different sizes, colors, prints, and so on. It has an opening for your thumb, or you can put it through the end. And it has elastic at the top. It's actually amazingly comfortable, although I really prefer to have my thumb out the end, to be honest. Maybe because I have long arms. But these are SPF 50, which is very good. And they also will protect your arms from scratches. So let's say you have to work in your raspberry patch or trim your roses or anything along those lines. It's supposed to keep your skin safe. Now, I wore these for a couple of hours the other day doing some gardening activities. They were, never came down and they were never uncomfortable or too hot. Another idea is to work outside either earlier or later in the day when the sun isn't so intense. Or if it's the middle of the day, try to do different types of gardening tasks that are in shady areas. But I do have a related gardening hack for you that we came up with last year. You probably remember it from one of my videos, but I wanted to share that today as a reminder. Remember how I like to use a kneeler bench for doing all different kinds of garden projects? It acts as a kneeler this way, and you can flip it around to create a bench for other activities. And what Bill did last year is he cut a length of black plastic poly sprinkler pipe and then used some zip ties to attach it to this part of the kneeler. And let me show you what we do next. Now, if I have a project I can work on from a seated position, I flip the bench around like this, and I take an old beach umbrella, slip it into this pipe, and then carefully, without decapitating myself, open up the umbrella, and I've got instant shade. And of course, this also works with the kneeler flipped around so that I can have shade while I'm kneeling down working on different kinds of tasks. So this works really great. Now I hope that some of the things I've told you about have given you good ideas for what you can do to protect yourself from the sun. This is so important. Thanks so much for watching today, everybody. Happy gardening.